Hello guys, I'm back to my home bar. My name is Lene and today we're gonna to talk about training. We're gonna talk about shakers, but particularly the Boston shaker. So, easy to use. There's a large thing, as you can see. I use this for steel drinks too, not just for shaking. It's a good conductor of temperature, heat or cold. So it's better for chill drinks, steel drinks, I prefer. I have the small tin. I use a small tin for liquid. So every time I'm making a cocktail, I fill the small tin with liquid and the big one with ice. So let's show you. So I'll show you how to shake. Hold it this way, a little bend on the top. You want to close the shaker, you gotta make sure it's not straight this way. This is not okay. It has to be a little bend on the top. So when it's bent on the top, it's a good shake. You can see it's not gonna open, it's gonna be consistent, it's gonna be 100% safe to shake. The other way, if you close it this way, it may be difficult to open, difficult to shake, and this can come out every time. So you have to make sure it's closed. I always close it properly this way. See the bend? It's bent, it's closed, safe, you can shake it. Hold the shaker with one hand, so grab it from the middle, now grab both of them, the small tin and the big tin. And with the second hand, grab it from the bottom. Make sure you don't hold it this way. Always hold the small tin on your side. Okay? Holding this way, you have more grip on it. You can hold shake either this way. So it depends on what you are shaking. So every cocktail needs a different shake. So for example, daiquiri needs a hard shake. You gotta hold the shaker from the middle and the bottom, and then give it a hard shake. So hard shake and quick. That doesn't have to be long, it has to be hard and quick. You got this nice white texture come out from it, so like bubbling, sparkling when you see it. That's a good shake. If you are making something with more texture, like an espresso martini, like a whiskey sour, gin sour, you need a different type of shake. So you need a round shake. When I talk about round shake, I talk about you getting aeration to the cocktail, all the aeration in the shaker, and you can get a nice texture to the drink. So, for a round shake, always close it safe in the middle, and this way. So from here, you have to go round. So make like a little circle while you're shaking, okay? I make it when I'm standing by this way, I make a round shake. Um, Around the circle when I'm shaking. You hold it this way, then you go round. Round. So the cocktail is gonna jump in there, but it's not gonna hit the head. You're gonna jump and come back. Jump. So back, back, back. The cocktail is in the shaker, and it has to go up and down, up and down, up and down. You have to make sure this eye is not crushing. Your eye is going up and down. So it has to be quick. So you have to put it up, put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, and it jump constantly, and that's how a nice texture to your drink. Important thing to grab properly the shaker. One hand over here, and one hand under the bottom, and shake it. Okay? And now let's talk about opening the shaker. Opening the shaker is something really important because people have read, it's the most difficult thing for people to open the shaker. So when you open the shaker, let me show you how to do it. This is the shaker bend. I'm gonna grab it with one hand in the middle, as you did before, and hit it over here. One hit, it's out. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or recommendation, just check down on the comment section and just let me know. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.